Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw, and I'm here with Sean Hebert, who's the Regional Vice President Americas for Kensington Tours. Now, Kensington just released a kind of new survey uh, looking at trends in the market and also how Kensington actually addresses those trends for 2021 as we emerged from this, uh, hopefully from this post-COVID environment and into the next new year and travel comes back. And we're going to talk to Sean about uh, both the trends and also the products that Kensington has to address those trends in this segment of Insider Travel Report. And you're going to find out about all that and more right here. Now, Sean, uh, tell us a little bit about, first of all, how are you and where are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, I'm in Toronto and like you, I'm in my house. So uh, <laughs> I'm doing as well as you could be in a global pandemic, but uh, certainly hoping for nicer weather shortly and for things to reopen a little bit. Absolutely. Although you know, I, don't th- I don't think the Canadians want any part of us down here. I, I hear that you, you just have now a 14 day quarantine and testing. So that's it's, right. It's, 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 don't take it personally. It's just the way <laughs> things are going, James. <laughs> I'm very offended. I don't know. I, I thought I'd be one of the two would be good, right? But uh, no, I guess I really do enjoy going up to Canada. So hopefully you'll, we'll, we'll all be uh, back there soon. But let's talk a little bit about your, your role at Kensington Tours. What, what do you focus on as uh, regional vice president in Americas? Sure. So, I mean, I'll give you a little bit about my background. Like most of Kensington staff, I started as a destination expert. So, you know, if you call us up, you're always going to get a destination expert on the phone who can help you craft and curate a customized private guided itinerary for our travelers. So um, that's where I started. That was my bread and butter for many years. As as you know, we build our itineraries from the ground up. We really want to, you know, speak to a client. We really, we we want to consult and find out what are their interests, their passions, what are the bucket list items that they have for that trip. Um, And, you know, a year into this global pandemic, we still have uh, more than a hundred of our destination experts answering our phones day in, day out that are remaining focused on, on making these traveler dreams come true. Um, but I'm no longer in that role. So what I'm focused on uh, nowadays is, is twofold. First, uh, I'm doing my absolute best to tell everyone in our agent community that we are still here, that we are still available. And beyond that, um, we're proud to say during the pandemic that we are industry leaders in terms of agent booking incentives. So uh, for our agents, we're offering gift cards of up to $200 for every single booking paid within a month of deposit. So you get your money in your pocket now, uh, and that's $200 above and beyond the commission that you're going to get when that trip travels. Uh, And if your clients are traveling to Sun and Sand destinations, as part of our new resort collection, our agents get $400. We double that. Uh, So I'm I'm on mountaintops. I am screaming that as loud as I can. Uh, That is one of my responsibilities. My other is, uh, is trying to tell our potential travelers that we also lead the industry in peace of mind. So our our travelers, you know, right now during COVID-19 can book with confidence, which means full flexibility on every reservation up to seven days before departure. So, you know, you're paid and ready to go. It's two weeks before your trip. The entire world flips on its head and we protect 100% of that investment to move the trip to a different date or a different destination. Uh, And we know not everyone's doing that. You know, we've had travelers that weren't able to get on their flights to New Zealand. uh, And so we protect every single dollar and and they're going to Alaska instead. Uh, And so, you know, that's unique. It's a stress-free way to to book a trip and to have that trip service. The stress-free is for the agents and the clients. It's a bit of stress for us, I'll admit, but that's our job. Um, so my current role in, in the Americas is really trying to get uh, our, our, our clients and our agents to understand we're still here and we've changed the whole game to try to be as flexible as possible to make sure people can rely on us. Well, let's also talk about another thing that Kensington is doing is you're kind of tailoring your programs to kind of fit this new normal of travel that we're, we're facing with COVID and in the post-COVID age. And, and indeed, we're talking, we talked about that survey. You put out a survey revealing kind of eight top travel trends for 2021. What I'd like to go, do is go through those trends and, and kind of what products Kensington has developed to meet travelers' needs for them, and uh, if you don't mind. And then, and then you can tell me a little bit about you know, w- the trend itself as well as the products. So sure. let's, talk, let's talk about the first one. The first trend is, you know, surprising, not surprisingly, travelers want to get away from it all on a private retreat. They, they don't want to be around people. Can you describe this as well as the programs that you have at Kensington to meet this need? So in general at Kensington, we, we, we kind of saw – ahead of the pandemic that there was a need to take what we do in 100 plus international destinations and bring it closer to home, bring it to different styles of travel, uh, bring it to yachts, bring it to the Caribbean. Um, we, we were 
quite interested to see that the pandemic suddenly made some of these uh, new product lines more urgent for us. But one that we've been working on for years and which we launched in 2020 uh, is private retreats. Most of our itineraries are big bucket list trips. You're going to go halfway across the world and you might go to four or five different cities and we're taking care of the flights and we're taking care of the transfers. You're jumping on a train in the middle. Um, we know that there's destinations where you don't want to be moving around nearly as much and that maybe the actual getting away from it all relaxation is the purpose of the trip. So we call these kind of single stay itineraries. Um, you want to go to Utah and you want to stay on a dude ranch for a week and you want that uh, to be a fully serviced property and you want there to be experiences that you have access to right at your doorstep. Uh, that would be a private retreat for us. And as soon as we launch the product, we have an overwhelming response. It's right? saying, yeah, no, I don't want to be jumping on airplanes every other day and I don't want to be jumping on trains, but you know, get me somewhere that's different, somewhere where I could have unique experiences, life-changing, memorable experiences, but uh, I don't need to be traveling nearly as much. Um, sitting in an igloo, uh, able to watch the northern lights from your bed, uh, staying there for a week so that you have the ability uh, to be chasing the northern lights and to be doing dog sledding uh, experiences or to be going out in the day and doing cultural or culinary experiences, whether it's in Alaska or in Scandinavia. Uh, these are pieces in our retreats program that suddenly are really popular. We have travelers that uh, they want to do that for 2021 or beyond. And so um, we're feeling that's going to be big for people is I don't need to move around as much, but I still want to travel. So how can I stay in one place and do it in a very memorable way? No, absolutely. And I do think that's what people are looking for right at the moment. Now, the second trend you have is uh, not surprisingly, consumers are now want to kind of see what's close to home, but in a new way. Uh, describe that trend. And again, what kind of products Kensington has developed to meet that? So for, for us, we always were the company you'd call if you got clients that want to go to Cambodia and you don't know the first thing about Cambodia. So you call us and you've got, you know, somebody who lived in Thailand and Vietnam for years and they know, you know, every single corner of the country and they'll tell you all about, you know, a trip through Southeast Asia. Uh, that was our bread and butter and that always, you know, will be our bread and butter. But a year before the pandemic, we said there's, there's room for us to be doing this in the United States. There's re room for us to to have a private guided kind of curated customized experience in Canada, uh, Mexico. And it, it turned out to be quite lucky, I suppose, that we, we started planning this before the pandemic. Well, you, did, you did it before the pandemic. That's amazing. Because I well, so who, told, we who sure. told you? Who told you? <laughs> I promise you I had no insights ahead of time. But, uh, you know, we launched our, our, for instance, Alaska as a destination this time last year. So December, January last year. And we did not expect that by summer 2020, it would be our most popular destination. And you can imagine why. Uh, suddenly the cruise lines aren't going. Suddenly you can't get to Europe or to Asia. And so our, our brand new Alaska product is, is now very well tested. It's uh, it's product that we uh, were tweaking and we're really presenting this year as, as, uh, as a great option for American travelers. I mean, um, you, you may have parts of the world that open up by June, July, August, sure. maybe not, but that doesn't mean you need to be getting on an international flight to have a life changing experience, to have a cultural experience, to have a culinary experience. Um, to learn history. I, I actually went up to Alaska in July myself. It was my first visit and oh, wow. uh, was able to go do bear viewings, flew in a float plane for the first time in my life, uh, got in a helicopter and landed on a glacier and tasted fresh glacier water out of my water bottle. Uh, you know, and I'm Canadian. I had to go to, uh, to your country I to thought, have these I thought, that, I thought that was what you did just every day in Canada. That was right in downtown Toronto, just <laughs> dip my water bottle in a glacier. <laughs> Um, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing that, uh, the, these life changing bucket list trips, they don't need to happen on another continent. They can happen right here. Um, our most popular locales, Alaska, no surprise, Hawaii, uh, again, Hawaii is not a beach destination. It's an experiences destination. Yep. It's an active destination. And so if you want to go to Maui and you really want to do the road to Hana, or you want to climb a volcano, or you want to go to big Island and, uh, you want to. Well, right now you may be not wanting to get so close to that volcano. Let's say you want to go to Oahu and right. you want to learn about Pearl Harbor and you want to get out and do some, uh, some incredible Jurassic Park related experiences. These are all things that you could be doing within your own country's borders. Um, by far the most popular requests we're getting right now are for the national parks in the American West. Not surprisingly, yes. And uh, we'd love for our travelers to experience the big five with a guide. 
you know, a trekking guide, a guide who really can be flexible within the day, uh, can base a, a day tour on the abilities of those travelers. Uh, we have great helicopter operators out of Nevada that can take you over to Arizona and fly over the Grand Canyon. Sure. Um, we're looking at Montana. Our newest itineraries go up to, through Wyoming, Montana. We're looking at the Dakotas very closely. Uh, this is really where folks are interested to go this summer. And, uh, and you go on our website and you'll see exactly what we have to offer there. And we're excited that in the next few months, we're gonna have even new, fresher itineraries that are a little bit adjusted for what we think COVID travel will be like for 2021 so that our agents can go on uh, and show some of these itineraries to their travelers and say, this is a sample. Let's get one of their destination experts for Utah on the phone and let's really get into the nitty gritty. No, that sounds great. And, uh, and obviously domestic travel was predicted to be the one that would come back quite quickly and close in. And then uh, the, the third uh, uh, trend that uh, I, I think I was rather surprised at is that travelers want to experience resorts with a fresh twist. Now, to be honest with you, I thought you guys are a tour operator, not a resort operator. Uh, so what kind of products does Kensington have uh, re involving resorts and programs to provide sort of a different experience? This has been a fun one to talk to people about, James, because I think you're absolutely right. We are Kensington Tours. We're known for experiences. We're not known necessarily for simply uh, booking your all-inclusive and, and uh, enjoy, you know, don't have too many while you're sitting out in the sun. Uh, we, we really took a look a few years ago at, at the Caribbean, at Mexico, uh, at the south of Greece, uh, at the South Pacific Islands like Tahiti or Bora. Um, and tried to see, could we present an itinerary focused or a tours and experiences focused uh, trip to these destinations that is not just sitting on the beach and having a drink? Um, because I think, you know, so many of our staff are maybe from some of these parts of the world or they lived in these parts of the world. And they're so passionate about the unique histories, the unique cultures, the cuisines that come out of these destinations. And we, we want to try to showcase that when you go to a sun and sand destination, you can leave the hotel. Uh, there, there is an entire country outside the gates of, of uh, that property. And we have fantastic local guides that we've been sourcing over the last few years that would love to show you the colonial history in Barbados and the recent independence sure. movement. Um, we, we would love for you to learn after seeing the, the Hamilton play uh, about Alexander Hamilton's birthplace, Nevis. And, and, and I, uh, I have been there. I know exactly what you mean. It's fascinating, actually. It, and, and, you know, these these islands, of course, they're, they're a showcase of white sand beaches and turquoise waters. And please get a snorkel on if that's what you want to do. But uh, we, we really want to get people to tap into some of the unique cultures and histories that are there. Um, if you look on our resort collection uh, website, you'll see we don't have every sand, sun and sand destination in the world. We have curated those locales. Uh, so that we could be selling an experience that's very similar to what we do in the rest of the world. So, you know, you will see Turks and Caicos, but you won't see Jamaica necessarily. That, that maybe doesn't line up with what our travelers are looking for in terms of their accommodation, in terms of their experience. We're looking, we're hunting in Jamaica, but we're not there yet. We're only putting things up if, uh, if we really believe in that experience and we can send a staff member down to say, you know, I really learned something. I really had a life-changing experience. No, absolutely. Um, yeah, and, and, and I, I think you probably will find something in Jamaica eventually too because it's, there's a lot going on on that island uh, beyond just the coastlines, um, you know, that we should be seeing. And, and in most of our Caribbean islands, actually, I, some of my favorite times in Caribbean islands, I'm not a big, as you can see with my complexion, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I'm not exactly lying out there baking uh, all over the place. So I, I like activity and like to go explore things, whether it's uh, going into the – the mud baths at the volcanoes in St. Lucia or uh, doing a catamaran sail or something like that. So it, it absolutely is more experiential travel and, and it's great that you're getting into that. Yeah. And we, we've, we've chosen the resorts and I know that's the, that's the headline, the resort collection. We've chosen properties uh, that have fantastic service. You know, it's not all about price point. It's not all about exclusivity, sure. but fantastic service that really gets you to connect with the, with the locale uh, and something local, something memorable, something unique about the property. So, you know, I shouldn't be able to close my eyes in St. Lucia and open them and imagine I'm in the, the Park Hyatt in Chicago. It should, it should feel like I'm in St. Lucia. We, we've looked for properties that, that really celebrate the local culture, the local art, um, you know, that you can taste local dishes when you're having breakfast at the hotel or when you go to one of the, uh, the restaurants for dinner. So, you know, we, we took a long time to try to figure out 
what, what really is the Kensington experience if it's in Tahiti? What is the Kensington experience if it's in St. Lucia? And, uh, and I, we're really excited about it. I think our, our agents and our clients, uh, when they get on the road and they start experiencing these properties and these itineraries, uh, they'll see it's just the same as a Kensington trip in Italy or in Japan. We're just connecting with a different type of locale. That's great. Now, now the fourth trend is one that I know Kensington has already been doing, and that's escape to the wild in luxury, uh, which I always thought that was what was, Kensington was all, all, all about, really. Uh, can, describe this trend and why it may be important now, and, and what's new, what new and improved products does Kensington have to meet this trend? Well, it, maybe it's easiest to explain this by what, by what we, we think is not going to be a trend in 2021, which is, which is city breaks. Uh, we're, we're not getting a ton of interest from our clients right now to, to spend all of their time in New York City or in Paris or in Tokyo or in Hong Kong, as maybe we have in years past. And we understand why that is. You know, the, these are fantastic lo locales and great destinations. But if half of everything is going to be shut down and there's no dining potentially happening when you're in destination or you're just worried about crowds, uh, it makes more sense to maybe raise onto the top of that bucket list that trip you had planned to be out in the wild. So if that's a safari, uh, fantastic. If that's uh, aboard a Galapagos cruise to go see the Galapagos Islands, fantastic. If that is going to do tiger tracking in, uh, in India, fantastic. We are really, really hearing from travelers that say, I want to get out off the beaten path and I want to go and see wildlife because this seems to be the right year to do it. Uh, and to your point, James, this is our bread and butter. You know, we started as a safari operator uh, 15, 16 years ago. And so um, we're, we didn't reinvent the wheel, you know, the big five are the big five, but um, you know, we're constantly out there and we're, we're, we're working with our lodges and we're working with our partners to improve the experience and the service on the ground. And I suppose the trend that we're tracking is that we, we expect even more of a percentage of our clients to seek out experiences like a safari than they normally would because of how COVID-19 has affected people's travel desires. Absolutely. Well, something similar to that is the fifth trend identified, the Kensington identified, is try something new. Uh, brand new, I should say. I guess we're, we're all tired of sitting in our apartments in our houses uh, looking, looking at the walls. Uh, so we want to do something that we've never experienced before. Talk, you talk a little bit about that trend and why it's important now and also what Kensington offers to kind of kind of meet, meet this. Well, I think, you know, like you said, James, a couple years locked in your house. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll certainly do a number on, on, uh, on somebody's wish list in terms of the experiences they really do hope to have at some point. And, and I know, you know, pent up demand is the term I've been hearing a lot of in the last few months. And we know there's, there's bucket list items that people realize I've got to do it now because you never know what might happen in 10 years or in 15 years. And so if you've never experienced a Japanese ryokan, you know, staying on traditional tatami mats and having a, a kaiseki meal for your breakfast and for dinner, uh, if that's brand new to you, do it. You know, make sure you have that experience uh, while well, you have the time and resources to do it. If you've never stayed overnight in a Scottish castle that has been uh, retrofitted and upfitted into a, a beautiful luxury hotel, uh, now is the time to do it. If you've never stayed overnight at a Buddhist monastery, uh, be it in South Korea or in Japan or in China, and you know, lived among the monks for two or three days and learned about another religion, why not now? If you've never been on a river cruise in France or on the Mekong or on the Yangtze in China, um, that's a fantastic experience. Whether you like cruises or whether you, you don't see you know, being on a boat as a traditional experience, you know, the Nile is unique, the Yangtze is unique. And so I think trying something brand new is not that you couldn't have done some of these experiences before, but we're just getting a lot of requests for, from folks who say, you know, I wouldn't normally be somebody that would go to Nepal and would, would think the Annapurna circuit is, is doable because of my age or because of my background. But I'm hearing that you guys can help me do that in an accessible way. Uh, help me, you know, how can I do, can I go to Borneo and can I see orangutans at a rehabilitation center? I see it on your website. It's always been a dream since I was a kid. Can I do that? Could I make that my 2022 uh, travel item? And, and so I think, again, brand new, not 
in the world's order, but brand new to you as a traveler um, really excites me. And we're getting so many requests from people that say, I never thought I would look to do something like this, but it's now or never. So let's get it going. Absolutely. Well, I don't know. I'm not so sure I want to go to a Buddhist monastery and be isolated with nobody around me because I think I got that now. I'm not sure what <laughs> to be. the four walls are closing in here. But, but are you sufficiently Zen right now? Do you feel, <laughs> uh, is, your, is your mindset I, I, correct? I'm really, uh, now, now doing a little <laughs> meditation here. Okay, so uh, no, I think the way you, that you described it, it sounds a lot more interesting than uh, sitting in my apartment overlooking, overlooking the river, but it's, it's, it is, it's not quite as Zen as I'd like. Now let's talk about the, um, actually a related trend, because you mentioned it earlier. Uh, the sixth trend is, Create your own floating luxury retreat. And, and I was actually surprised. Here's another one where I was surprised is that I'm not, they're not just talking about river cruising and things like that, but you're talking about yachting and, and smaller ships and things like that. And uh, talk about the trend and, and what Kensington offers there in terms of a, a small boats and, uh, that, that you can deliver uh, for clients. So we, we are proud to have a yacht team. We've, we're proud to have Kensington Yachts uh, for, for two years now. And, and for those of our agents who've used us uh, to charter a yacht, be it in Europe or be it in the Caribbean, you know that we took our land concept and we moved it over to yachts. So it's not set itineraries. We really do start again uh, from what is the request? Where do these travelers look to go? You know, what are the islands that are on their bucket list that they want to visit and what experiences do they need to include in the trip? And we build it up from there. Okay. Um, obviously yachting is, it's remote, it's exclusive. Uh, you're not going to necessarily have a ton of interaction with people that you don't wish to have. Um, you and have your crew and you have a, maybe a, a chef on board, things like that. that uh, and and I, I, I've, I've had friends who love that kind of vacation even before all this went down and, and now you're offering that as well. We, we, we hope that people don't just think of yachts as something that the, the uber rich have access to. And I think, uh, you know, proof and proof and point is I went on a yacht and I, I, you know, trust me, I'm no Jeff Bezos here myself, but uh, I had the privilege to experience a yacht uh, that traveled through St. Martin, St. Bart's, through Kensington Tours, and was surprised with the chartered yachts and the, and the private catamarans that you can uh, take three nights, five nights, seven nights, eight nights. If you have three or four couples and, you know, you've got a, a good flight deal on business class flights down to the Caribbean, um, Per person, you may be actually looking at a fairly reasonable price for a full service yacht, you know, all your meals and booze included with a fantastic crew with, you know, a tender with uh, jet skis uh, on board. It's, uh, it's a more accessible experience if you, if you have the type of group that is looking to do it than you might imagine. Now, of course, if you, you know, if you have that private jet and you're looking also to come down and, and have that ultra luxe experience, we can do that for you as well. But, um, you know, Kensington's always been about travel for all wallets. And I know when we launched our yachts a couple of years ago, we, we worried, are people going to start to associate us with just, you know, the uber, uber rich? And right, right. I'm even pleased to see that, uh, that your, your entry level luxury traveler, if they bring that group and, and they're keen on, on having an experience, a yacht is not something unreasonable. A private catamaran is not something unreasonable. Not, uh, not at all. And uh, hey, I don't know about, as you said, I, don't, I have no problem playing Jeff Bezos or Sir Richard Branson. <laughs> That would be fine for a week or two, you know, especially after this uh, environment that we're in now. But uh, let, let's talk about the, the seventh trend. And, and again, this is a trend that it sounds like what you were doing before, sort of get outside and get lost in nature. And again, uh, that is a, a trend I've seen in, in other surveys, especially with all this, that people want to get back to nature in the wild. Uh, and it is something you've provided for some quite, quite some time. Talk about this trend as well as some, somehow Kensington has possibly revamped its products to offer even new products outdoors and in nature. Well, I think I, I gave away my, uh, my hand, unfortunately, when I mentioned Alaska, Hawaii, and the national parks, as go. we talked about close to home. Um, the, the places that we've seen a ton of interest in uh, are those where, where you can get outside, you've got a breath of fresh air, you're not going to be surrounded by crowds. And so for us, we're, we're thankful that a lot of those itineraries were already ones that we delivered so well. Um, you know, our Patagonia excursions, suddenly, you know, they're back and people are really curious and interested to get out and do trekking. I, I mentioned Nepal. Again, you know, you may not be ready to go in the next two, three months, but we're, we're planning for 2022. So, you know, if getting out and doing a trekking experience in, in the Annapurna Circuit or uh, getting up in a small plane to see Everest from the air, which is something I got to do on a Kensington trip a couple of years wow, ago. That's amazing. If that's on your bucket list, now is a really great time to do it. You didn't try climbing um, that mountain, I hope. 
I have not tried. No, you know, I'm a, I, I would say like I'm a, I'm an athletic light traveler, you know, give me something that's entry level. Um, but if it gets too hardcore, you know, I'm happy to be seeing that from a, uh, from a private vehicle. Um, are, 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 are on the track and you can use your binoculars to see the people climbing up the mountain, but that's what sure. I'm Exactly. We, you know, we're, we're so pleased that there's such a renewed interest in these very outdoorsy uh, locales and New Zealand would be another one that for yeah. 2022 uh, we we've got just a ton of interest from people that say North Island, South Island, you know, I hear that I'll be out just myself, my partner, our guide. Uh, and that's the trip, you know, weather, weather dependent. So bring your boots, bring your, your rain jackets, but people want to get out and they want to explore. Um, and, and we recognize that. And I think, you know, Kensington has been able to deliver that type of experience for years now. Well, uh, New Zealand and Nepal and those trips are in my bucket list, that's for sure. And they have been for some time. And uh, obviously we had a year delay here, but it'd be great to get back and do those. Now, the final and eighth trend uh, is uh, something that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about, oh, let's get a few beers and hit the road, uh, you know, embark on a and a very different kind of road trip. Again, this would seem to address the demand for more domestic travel, but it's also an individual trip. And I didn't realize it's kind of a drive vacation, which I, I would say traditionally guided vacation operators or, or you know, even, even small groups, that's not what we're talking about. But I didn't realize that Kensington does offer some, some, uh, some products that, that do fit this scenario. So we, we for years have been quietly providing, I mean, we're customized and we're bespoke and you tell us what you need. And if we can fulfill it, uh, you know, to our standard and to make sure it's a, it's a dream experience with a guide, uh, you know, we'll try to make it happen. We, we have done self-drive in New Zealand uh, to great, you know, great success before with travelers that say that is my dream. You know, I want to get there. I want to be driving the roads in the North and South Island. Um, but can I get to each destination? And, you know, my guide meets me at the site and we do the tour that way. Right. Um, we've done it in Ireland before another destination where, you know, oh, yeah, as long as you can wrap driving your head around. Driving in Ireland is great. It's great. It's amazing. It's, yeah. in, you know, the UK, we, we have so many travelers that have come to us and say, I, I will rent my own car. Can you help me? Um, and so I think with kind of that experience that we've had over the years doing that, um, we thought let's, let's, let's formalize it. Let's put together a, a, a new set of itineraries, a new product line uh, that we can call road trips that, that can really get people imagining how private guided and self-driving can connect with one another. And so I think you're, you're going to see this coming out, coming out in the next month or two from us. Uh, we're really going to showcase the United States for obvious reasons. I think our travelers want to be leaving the Northeast and they want to go down and uh, go through the Carolinas and they want to go to Nashville and maybe they want to end up in New Orleans and they're going to do that in their own car and drive back to New York or Washington at the end. We have our expert guides in each of those cities. We can have experiences that are in the Kensington style uh, while you're still driving your own vehicle. The national parks, everybody wants to drive in the parks, whether or not you're arriving and you're renting or whether you're bringing your own vehicle. Uh, we have our guides that are located at the, uh, the outset of each of these national parks. We're happy to put together kind of a threaded experience where, you know, you're driving, you're with a guide for these three days, you're moving on to the next locale. And then that guide is from that area. They're an expert in those parks and they can tour you there too. Uh, Alaska is another location where you get into Fairbanks and you rent that vehicle and you think, you know, I can get down to Denali myself, or I can get down uh, to Talkeetna myself, or I'll go up from Anchorage. Um, we have those guys that are in those locales. So we want our agent community to know this will be on our newsletter soon. You'll see this kind of flashing on our website in early 2021, but uh, don't be afraid to ask a, a Kensington destination expert uh, whether we can fulfill this type of request. We've been doing it for years. We just, we need to be celebrating it more. We need to be uh, getting back on that mountaintop and screaming again that this is the type of trip we can do and, and, and ask us about it. That's great. Well, it's certainly a, a, a whole nother level from uh, getting a case of beers and going on a fresh trip out <laughs> there. And back in college is what I was, what my definition of road trip had been up until then. But I have actually had some more sophisticated tra traveling through Italy and uh, by, by car and, and going all over the place, which is something I'm sure that, you know, you guys can fill and help out. So it's, it, it is, you know, self-drive is, is a way to go in many cases. But I, I'll tell you, I went to three places, James, in 2020. I went to Mexico, I went to Hawaii, and I went to Alaska. Mm -hmm. And in all three of those places, I rented a car and I drove. And so I, you know, I would be a hypocrite if I uh, was to tell our clients, no, that's no way to travel. When, when we 
completely recognize that people are, as, you know, in their own country or, or in a place like Cabo, for instance, if they're comfortable uh, with their own vehicle, how can we make sure we can still link you up with those guides and experiences? Uh, I've had fantastic experiences testing out our road trips itineraries in those locales. Uh, we're just really excited to be able to showcase it in 2021. No, that's great. Well, I went to Mexico and I went to Mexico and I went to Mexico. And, Mexico. <laughs> and one of those, I did do a drive trip because I was in, in Cancun, Riviera Maya, and I was just going between all the resorts there. So I did actually get my driving in there, but it, it's, it sounds like this would be a different level. And you, you, you tell me to go off to, uh, you know, some of the, the Mayan sites and some of the other things that would be a little more cultural than just going to all the resorts, <laughs> as nice as those were. Now, now we've gone through the eight trends. That's great. I want to thank you for, for telling us all about that. And, and you did already talk about us, about all the incentives you're offering to travel advisors. So, so you know, that's wonderful. And especially now, uh, when a lot of the advisors are hurting, uh, you know, they, they want to get back booking and earning. And uh, it's been t a tough year to get through. They're, they're, we're, we're, we're on the cusp, I think, of getting through. Uh, how important is it for consumers to have a good travel advisor today to help them kind of decide uh, the travel they need in today's environment? And obviously, you have so many choices. I mean, they, they, I would think that advisors really can help uh, guide their clients to get the right Kensington product. Well, I hate, I hate to say, but the travel industry through the pandemic has here and there received some bad press around you know, refunds and whether airlines are willing to work with you on a change or, you know, what hotels are going to be charging you when a border closed and you had to cancel your trip and it wasn't your choice. Um, for these reasons, now more than ever, a travel advisor and a tour operator are essential partners for a traveler. Um, the peace of mind that you get by having an expert who's going to work with you as you design the itinerary. So, you know, a great example would be in Hawaii. We, we, we're we seeing that inter-island travel, at least for the next few months, is, is maybe not a realistic thing for our travelers to pursue. We, we believe that they're going to put in testing to get from one island to the next. And so when you get on with us and say, I'm dreaming of a four-island itinerary and I want to go in March, you know, we, we start by saying we would hate to have you disappointed. You know, we, we're recommending based on what we're hearing, what our team on the ground is telling us that you should stick to Maui or stick to Oahu for this particular trip. Uh, or if you want to do the multi-island trip, let's push that to later in the year because, you know, we're concerned about the entry restrictions. That expertise, that level of depth and, and that knowledge, that up-to-date knowledge of the entry restrictions or the ins and outs of a, uh, of a flight and which airlines like a Delta are allowing for the middle seat to be empty and which ones – I won't name other ones. Are not. And, and, there, there, there are actually. I don't know if there are any other ones right now. I don't think I, so. But I, I, I was on a plane the other day that was full. But uh, you're absolutely right. I mean, and I'm looking at a destination now, and I'm I'm still not clear uh, of the COVID entry requirements and and the testing and what I need to do. I'll figure it out before I leave. But this is one of the the functions that travel advisors have really you know got to get up on, and if they aren't already, uh, uh, you know, because there are so many restrictions. Uh, as as I, I have keep threatening to write a column called Too Many Cooks for COVID because there are just too many regulations local down to the, the regional levels and the city levels. Every every place is different. And and uh, you know, it's 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 something that travel advisors really can add value to in their uh, when they're booking these trips and, and working with you. As soon as the pandemic hit, we we created a team within each of our regional teams to focus on the entry restrictions and the evolving restrictions for each of the countries that we serve. So if there is a travel agent out there that has got a client that is looking to go to Kenya or to Korea, and you do not know what the restriction is or you can't figure it out through Google, please call us. We will answer the phone immediately and we will talk you through it. Um, it is, I mean, it's essential. That's why you need a travel advisor. You need a travel agent, somebody friendly on the corner. You need a tour operator like us to make sure that you have a local office on the ground greeting you when you arrive. Um, you know, the industry has had a really, really tough year, but it's going to come back because I think people will more so recognize why they need that support after COVID-19. And, and I'm excited for what's to come. Well, indeed, you know, Kensington really is positioned as, as helping travel advisors plan these things. And so they are your partners together with, you know, with the client that's coming in and wants that travel and you guys have all the resources. So I would encourage travel advisors when they work with Kensington to really rely on, on your team uh, who know, who are the experts and, and work closely with them because you're, you're not just, 
you're not doing a package vacation. You're doing a very customized type of thing that is really for that particular client. So uh, I would certainly uh, recommend that. But it uh, sounds great. Now, is there anything else uh, that you would like to tell our 75,000 travel advisors out there uh, about Kensington and about traveling actually in 2021? Just, uh, just that it's going gonna, it's gonna to come back. It's going to return. <laughs> uh, and we, we certainly are here. Uh, and, and please give us a call if you have any requests and you're not sure whether we, we can service it, uh, whether even if it's just a question, you know, what hotel would my client be best suited to go to there? They're going to do it on their own, but we're just looking for advice. Uh, we'd love to meet every one of the travel advisors that's out there if you've never worked with us. And if you work with us, you, uh, you know, I'm beating on an old drum here. You, you know already what, uh, what we offer when you give us a call. So um, it, it may not all come back at the same time. And, and so I, I do stress that in, in 2021, uh, keep looking for operators like us who will, will preach flexibility. Um, you know, tell your clients that it is okay to book a, tr a trip right now, just as long as the operator you're booking the trip with has those terms that allow for that great flexibility. Right. You know, if you're gonna book a trip to Europe and it has to happen in June, uh, having that ace in the hole that you could switch that trip to Utah uh, within a week or two, that, that could be really, really useful for some of your travelers. And so we, we hope that our, our, our agent partners are, are familiar with us. I hope they've looked at, you know, different tour operators and what flexibility they're offering. We believe that we offer, you know, the best flexibility, the best incentives, the best peace of mind for our clients and our agents. But, um, but for those of you who've never met us before, uh, we're here in our homes. <laughs> Please give us a, give us a call. Uh, yeah, you're kind and, of bored. I mean, what else is there to do out there except book some more travel, right? <laughs> call me in the evenings, on the weekends. I'm here. Just let us know. We, uh, we're excited to get your, your, your clients, your travelers back on the road. Now, uh, where can travel advisors go to get more information? Uh, I know you have a kensingtontours.com website. Uh, I know there are other, maybe some others. Any, any other places they can go to get more information about the company? I would say our, our website is the first place to look. If you've not subscribed to our newsletter, please do. We send it out once a week and, and uh, we send out specific agent incentives on our newsletter. Uh, we recently put out our inspiration book, our 2021 uh, user's guide to the company and to the world. You can see testimonials from our destination experts. You can hear about our Safe Travel Certified program, You know what we promise our travelers uh, during a pandemic when they're actually on the road with us. We do have folks traveling. We got guys in Peru right now. We got guys up in Alaska doing some, uh, some Northern Lights experiences. You know, the, the travel continues. It's a trickle, but, uh, but we would love for folks who don't know much about us to look on our website. And then, uh, James, maybe you can share my personal email as well. Okay, please it's my go first ahead. name, my last name at kensingtontours.com, S-E-A-N dot H-E-B-E-R-T at Kensington Tours with an S. Dot com. Okay, well, uh, this will be superimposed under you right now. Right, right here. It's, I'm going to put it right here at the bottom. <laughs> and uh, if you've got a question about anything under the sun, uh, please just send me an email or give me a call. I'm, I'm happy to chat. Great. Well, Sean, I want to thank you for uh, uh, spending the time with us to tell us all about Kensington, some great stuff, uh, uh, really optimistic about the future for for travel and for Kensington. Uh, and uh, certainly it's got, gotten me excited about going out, out on the road again. And uh, hope, hopefully at some point we'll get a chance to try one of your tours and uh, we'll see what goes with that. But listen, I, I want to appreciate again uh, all the time you just spent. Thank you so much, James. And hey, Galapagos, have a fantastic time. Uh, for the next one, let's me and you do it. There you Why go. Do that? Oh, you, that's, a, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a travel day. You got it. Uh, Perfect. I'm James Hillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.